In this lesson, we'll be discussing which molecules are soluble in hexane and why. The question reads, determine whether each compound is soluble in hexane. Let's begin with a discussion about whether hexane is polar or nonpolar. As you can see from this illustration, hexane is a hydrocarbon. It consists of carbon and hydrogen exclusively. And as a result, there are no imbalances of forces within the molecule as a whole. Therefore, it is a nonpolar molecule. And because of that, only nonpolar molecules will be able to blend with hexane. Let's start with the first one, water. We've discussed in the past that water is a polar molecule. So if you were to combine water with hexane, it's like combining water and oil in this case. They will not combine, and so it's not soluble. Propane, on the other hand, is a hydrocarbon. And just like hexane, it is nonpolar. Therefore, if you were to combine propane and hexane together, they would mix. Ammonia is a polar molecule. Take a look at its chemical structure. We have a nitrogen with a pair of electrons and it's bonded to three hydrogens. Because the hydrogens have a weaker electronegativity than nitrogen, their electrons will be pulled towards the nitrogen, also forming a polar molecule. Therefore, if you were to mix ammonia with hexane, they wouldn't come together. And lastly, we have hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is a simple molecule. These two atoms are held together by a covalent bond where the chlorine, given that it's more electronegative than hydrogen, will have the electrons closer to it than the hydrogen atom. As a result, this is a polar molecule and it will not dissolve in hexane. And there you have it. That is how you can tell if a molecule will be soluble in hexane.